Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another Take A Lot video. And today we're going to be discussing another piece of software. You know, I'm always in the pursuit of a good piece of software to help me with my uh, managing Take A Lot. And today we're going to be covering a piece of software called uh, Pearl Metrics. So I've been testing them out for a couple of weeks now, and I wanted to just give you guys a quick run through of what you get when you sign up for a, soft, uh, a, a subscription like Pearl Metrics. Just before we jump in, I must admit that there is having software, like I always encourage building your own things and I've got a heap of videos on like how to connect the APIs and do that. And I still run those, even though I have access to advanced systems like Pearl Metrics and Shop Deploy, I still heavily re rely on my own systems because I can tailor it to my own, uh, my own business models. Um, so I do always re encourage that, but there is a very good, it's, you know, peace of mind having it on someone else's server and they like, this is their nine to five is making sure that this data is correct and making sure that it updates all the time, uh, making sure they stay on top of take a lot changes. So yeah, I do get a lot of peace of mind from using these sort of things. Um, and I know how much we're building my own sort of small things. I know how much time it takes to get them looking like this. Anyway, let's jump in. So we start off here with the overview page. Uh, it's quite nice. It's always on sort of it's showing your monthly view. You've got total revenue, units sold. It gives you each day. You can see even like your current day that you're on, you can see. And I'm going to just be going down the page. So it starts off at the top with product sales. It's got your most, uh, most units sold here on the right and on the left, most revenue by unit. Then if we go over to... We scroll down a little bit. Um, I don't scroll because I can't blur and scroll at the same time, um, just to keep some some level of confidentiality uh, of of products that I sell. Um, and yeah, so you can see your returns, uh, returns by day, by number of items, and by the value, which I think is pretty cool. Like this is a nice visualization that. Uh, a little bit. It's not always the nicest thing to visualize, but you do have to uh, from time to time. Um, also shows you your most returned items uh, in by units and by revenue. Then we go scroll down some more. We've got cancellations, which is not as bad as a return, but probably means that it was either canceled by take log, canceled by us, uh, by the DC, uh, by customer. So that's also quite a... a not something I've ever really visualized uh, before. So, um, yeah, you guys might have some interesting data then. And it, actually, when you look at the numbers in the, the top, like the number, it adds up to quite a bit of cancellations. Um, also, this is still on the overview page. Uh, and then just at the bottom of the overview page, we have the distribution centers. Uh, so it gives you your revenue by distribution center, uh, your units by distribution center, your returns, revenue loss by distribution, and units returned, uh, like the unit count. It's actually quite interesting. I've got more. I've lost more on returns in Cape Town, even though the sales are only 50% of that of Joburg. Um, quite interesting. And then it also, this is really cool. It gives you your hourly sales, like uh, of minor 9 a.m., one, four, and eight. It's kind of that I would have guessed something along those lines. Uh, but interesting to see across the month what times of the days customers are shopping. Uh, if we move on to the next page, which is the products, uh, this is where it gets quite interesting. So you've got your sort of your product overview page. This is where you would come and add or remove things to buy box tracker. So uh, Pearl Metrics does do auto repricing and they also do um, uh, buy box tracking. So they'll let you know if you've lost the buy box or you've won the buy box. Uh, and you basically, you get a certain amount of buy box trackers. So you, you it doesn't track your whole portfolio, um, your whole catalog. You have to select certain lines. So you would come in and you would just add them for instance, there, and it's going to start adding that to the tracking. Uh, and then do give that a bit of time and it will start scanning, scanning that page periodically. Um, so just bear in mind this for a little bit later when we look at the pricing. So the amount of products that you track we, uh, does come up and then you get 
some other information here buyable low stock no stock uh, price uh, units sold Cape Town Joburg lead time stock that you've got available there lead time days revenue year uh, revenue month revenue year and just life to date revenue which is pretty interesting uh, to see your your big ticket products carrying uh, carrying you uh, okay so that's you can search here you can also click into each product get a big detailed view of it uh, I don't know if the detailed view is too much more necessary than what you can see here but I think they've got some more detail like the barcodes and stuff like that uh, but for me generally I would stay on this page and just scan through stock levels or revenues and, and such uh, next page is your sales very handy you can basically see your recent sales status revenue what DC they came from quantity customer and the time uh, I don't personally use this because it is like it I, I don't like pick the orders by this it would just be more for curiosity uh, more to get like that <laughs> that fix of uh, 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 that endorphin fix or that dopamine fix of watching sales come in uh, but I know that's not good for me so yeah I generally don't use something like this um, too much but there's, there are businesses that this would be perfect for just to be able to see okay here's an order I need to send it uh, also for coming back and doing invoices you've got the customer name all of that is ready for your invoice to be generated uh, next thing we have is your buy box tracker so if you're into the buy box tracking game, I'm personally not. I try to avoid it as much as possible. I feel like once you've lost the buy box, it's kind of game over on those. Uh, I do do one or two adjustments to claim that box. But if they just drop below that, I kind of go like, yeah, no, this is not, not the game I want to be playing. Uh, I'd rather look at just sort of finding a new product or finding a way to make that product its own unique product in some sort of way. But for some people, like more competitive markets, uh, especially like tech and stuff like that, you really have to, you have no choice but to compete on the buy box track. It's just, that's the way it is. Uh, so what you would do, um, I, I don't, yeah, so I don't use it personally, but this is, this is a big feature for a lot of people. It's like one of their native features in Palmetrics is the buy box tracking. You basically set your minimum, you set your, uh, the, the lowest you'll go, your preferred and leave it to do the rest. It's simple as that, uh, and enable it. So you say, I'll only go as low as a hundred rand, but I would like to sell it at 200. Um, that's the goal and it just does that's it you do it's perfect it pretty much it's hourly updated uh, it does everything quite timelessly and that's you know it does that thing like sometimes you have fought against something like this you know the software where you like adjust your price and next thing they like one rand lower than you uh, that's probably a system like this working in the background uh, so yeah, if you're into the buy box tracking, that's a big thing. It does give you your activity. You can search, you can watch, uh, you can also see which ones you're winning. I actually prefer to have something like this where you can see whether you're winning. It does, one weird thing is it just does say if if you if it's uh, out of stock, it says you're not winning, but I think that's probably no one's winning. So it should maybe say that. It's a little bit scary to see all the ones out of stock and you're not winning it. It's, uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, next thing is some notification screen personally not too much i would need from here i do like to look at the returns which i found quite interesting um and i can imagine that the low stock notifications would be really really handy for uh some businesses to that that rely on these apps for their stock management uh, so yeah i would probably say that those uh, the buy box notifications you're probably getting them in your email but it is nice to see those after the fact and it's 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 records you know you always want as much detail as possible that you can come back to if need be next thing and coming to the last thing is the pricing uh it's 
pretty well priced, I must say. It's um, comparable to anything else on the market. Uh, and it does have some just, uh, yeah, it's about what, what you would expect on the market. So you've got to buy it sort of per how many products you want to track. They also do have a plan if you're doing less than 50,000 Rand a month. I believe they've got a special plan for sort of growth businesses, uh, growth, growth small businesses. And buy box tracking, you can basically have all of your analytics, all of your reports, all of your history for 195 and then you can track and auto reprice on 10 products or you can auto reprice on 100 or 200 and so on and so forth. Most people aren't tracking all of their products, but it would be nice to sort of, yeah, that, that's one of the, the difference. I know with Shop Deploy, for instance, it tracks all of your products, but not the repricing. Um, that's something that's coming out that they're working on at the moment. Um, but yeah, these are, these are basically your price lines. You do have, if you're bigger than this, uh, you can sort of scale it up to like 1,500 trackers. For like the real big businesses checking out software um, and to be honest the amount of work that goes into running trackers and pricing adjustments it's like you know it's like every hour it's checking the thing it's seeing if you're winning it's adjusting the price so that's a get then it stores it then it does it again then it adjusts the price then it sends that back and then it checks if that was went through and then so it's like a lot of transactions per adjustment like that you don't see like back and forth information so I kind of get the, uh, I get the, the why, the way the pricing comes from um, now that I know the back end systems. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much Palmetrics in a nutshell. There's a 30 day free trial, so there's no harm if you want to just check it out. Um, personally, it's got some really cool features. Uh, I really like sort of the overview and the charts that they've come up with. They were very in, uh, detailed. Would have been cool to see something like the load balancing and just like something to be able to help with that. Um, but that's obviously quite a new thing. So I'm sure that'll roll out quite soon. And other than that, yeah, it, it's something. I mean, if you guys aren't using something, I would highly recommend either Polymetrics or Shop Deploy as a second source of information. It really makes your life a lot easier. Uh, especially with email notifications of when you're winning and losing buy boxes, uh, if you're tracking that and auto repricing, I mean, you can really make your money back quite easily if you're selling high end items and someone's beating you by one rand on a buy box, you can make it back. But anyway, I shall leave that up to you guys to think over and hopefully see you guys next week.